In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and configure built-in footer in JupyterX. JupyterX theme lets you use a default customizer footer or create a new custom footer from scratch using Elementor. But what is the difference between default and a custom footer? Simply put, the default customizer footer has limited options and styles while the custom Elementor footer has pretty much unlimited customization because of its widgets. This means that you'll be able to add any element or element to the footer like buttons, images, headings, icons, and more. Customizer footer feature is a great way to quickly create a simple footer to use on your website. Now, how to use built-in footer in JupyterX. From your WordPress dashboard, go to JupyterX and then click on Customize. From Customize, click on Footer, and from Settings tab, make sure the type is on default. Here are the most important options which you may find to customize your default footer. First one is Behavior. I'm going to talk about this option later in this video. Next one is Widget Area. By enabling this option, you are able to add widget area to your footer, and also you can add your preferable widgets. I selected this layout, it means that I'm going to have three widget area in my footer. As you can see, by selecting the layout, nothing happens in the footer. So let's go and close this and let's click on widgets. Here we decide which widgets to display in each area. Let's click on footer one and we have add a widget button. Let's click on it and now we have access to all available widgets. Select this one, let's give it a title. And we can use these options to show post date, comment count, and thumbnail. Here we can change the number of posts to show, and also we can use this option to order posts. There you go, that's the result. Let's go back and let's click on footer 2, click on add widget, and this time I'm gonna select this widget. Let's give it a title. And let's display post dates. There you go. Let's go back. Let's click on footer 3. Click on add widget. And this time I'm going to select calendar. Remember that you can use more than one widget in each area. So I'm going to add another widget here. For example, search. And when you have more than one widget in each area, you can use drag and drop to reorder the widgets. Now, the search is above calendar. We are almost done. Let's go back to footer. There you go. And let's go to styles tab. Now, I'm going to give some small styles to my widgets. For example, I'm going to change the font type and also its color. There you go. Let's go to text. Let's change it on family and let's go to widgets link and for the hover let's make it underline and let's make it red. There you go. Now let's go to settings. If you want to make your widget area full width, use this option. There you go. If you don't like it, simply disable this option. You have always control over displaying of your widget area in smaller devices, so if you want to hide your widget area on tablet or mobile, simply disable these options. Subfooter. The subfooter content consists of the copyright and menu. The copyright and the menu both can be customized. Like footer, you can make subfooter full width using this option and also you have control over displaying of subfooter in smaller devices using these options. Let me give you an example. This is mobile screen device. Okay. Let's disable the subfooter on mobile and let's see the result. There you go. Now the behavior. By default, it is on a static. Now I'm gonna select fix and let's see the result. There you go. This is fixed footer. 
Thank you for watching.